Hey YouTube, it is the Coding Noob coming at you again tonight. It is 10.35 p.m. Just making a quick video to kind of introduce my uh, <laughs> my new asset that I'm putting out on the Unity Asset Store. And what it's about and kind of give you some backstage um, passes to some of the source code that makes this um, this, uh, uh, this app function. So I'm sure you guys remember my tutorial that I made. Um, it was a three-part tutorial just covering how you can accomplish a flick to throw. Now flick to drag and flick to throw and drag to move. Because <laughs> um, the, whole, the whole deal behind this was that uh, you can drag the ball around really fast. But it won't register as a flick until you do that quick point you know a couple of second flick where your finger actually comes off the screen and then the ball or the object you're trying to you're you're trying to throw would actually toss and not a lot of videos out there cover that and that's kind of like what I what I did in this well um this asset that I made now kind of take that up a little bit towards a curve um curveball throw so um just like similar to pokemon go and i'll leave a a, a link to this uh to my site where i kind of just go over the the uh, the whole concept here and the code and the uh the little bit of uh preference and settings that i do to make it work and the codes in there of course um i have a link to this in the description below but um the only issue with that tutorial I made on that flick and, and drop and flick and drag is that that was for mouse uh, not mouse but for uh, mobile touch gestures so that was kind of limited um, and I want to do something that was compatible with also your mouse cursors and clicks and you know uh, all kinds of other uh, platforms so um, after looking into it there is a on mouse down and on mouse drag and on mouse up event that unity handles and it only only requires that the object you're interacting with has a collider on it so um the only issue here now is i had some issues with uh curving the curving the ball and having a collider which is why you would see that i have a box collider with the ball when it spawns would be inside that collider so i'm actually cheating when i click it when i click it i'm actually moving the box collider and i have a little cool little effect here where you can spin it wind it up and the particle starts coming out you can throw it and accomplish a nice little curveball of course you can just throw it normal like any other normal ball and of course that flick to drag also is is implemented in there where you can bring it up here and just flick it and throw it and uh you know bring it up here fast or whatever if you let it go it uh, resets you can kind of curve it the other way <laughs> just really curve it and wind it up and just toss it completely off screen comes right back <laughs> So yeah, um, that's that. This is a new asset right now that I'm working on. It's finished, and as of tonight, I'll be submitting it for the uh, the, uh, the 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 Unity App Store. And it takes, I think, it takes sometimes up to about twenty plus days for it to be approved. But submit, submit, uh, uh, subscribe. I couldn't say the word. Jeez, I'm tired. Subscribe to the channel. So as soon as it is approved. I can let you guys know. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get the notifications for the next videos coming out. Comment and like. And if you are a subscriber, uh, I'm always taking in new requests for whatever tutorials you like to see me make next. As always, you guys stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you again in the next video.